Here's a question I've been asked repeatedly. Now, Roger, you played collegiate tennis with four impaired limbs. Now, how were you competitive? Well, here's the answer. If you can hit the ball one more time over the net than your opponent, you win the point. It's about consistency. And here's what I found. Consistency can overcome limitations and is more important than ability. Now, talent alone does not determine success. It's what you do with your talent consistently that determines success. Now, no matter how much natural ability a person has, they won't realize their true potential without consistent action and consistent discipline. The principle of consistency will beat the inconsistency of others and it becomes your competitive advantage. Now here's a few thoughts about consistency that I hope you'll find helpful in both your life and your work. Clarity builds consistency. Now you'll find that your commitment to consistency is greater when you're crystal clear on your goals. Now, if you have only a vague idea of what you want to achieve and the action it's going to take to get there, it's a struggle to maintain consistency over time. When we lose sight of what we want, competing interests will distract us and our discipline and consistency becomes weak. Start today. Now, we've all met somebody who has awesome plans and big dreams, but their start date is always tomorrow. Now, how many great ideas have you had that didn't come to fruition because you never started? Consistent performers have a sense of urgency in pursuing their goals. Now, they don't wait for the perfect situation because we all know that may never come. Getting started may actually be the most difficult part of being consistent. You are already consistent. Now let's face it, all of us are consistent in some areas of our life. Perhaps it's never missing our favorite TV show or consistently eating dessert. The point is, we all know how to be consistent. It's applying it in the areas of our life that will give us the best outcomes. It's not a question of if you're consistent, it's identifying where you're consistent. And then ask this, is the focus of my consistent effort. Do I need to shift it in order to achieve better results? Consistency determines growth. Now, what happens if you try something over a period of time and in a consistent manner and you fail? You've had a big win over someone who never tried because you grew as a result of your effort. Consistency presents an opportunity to grow every day. My friend Darren Hardy in his book, The Compound Effect, highlights the importance of small changes done consistently. And over time, they lead to big results and massive personal growth. Commit to be that person who consistently hit the ball over the net one more time every day and you can look forward to great achievements tomorrow.